Hello, amazing healers. I'm so happy to see you here again. And today's topic is going to be on uh, helping you create your digital footprint. And uh, it's kind of important because different people will sit on different sites depending on what your personal demographic is and helping create a systematic a consistent digital footprint will really help you um, promote your brand so they can see who you are. So stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40 year research career. I replaced my six figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. I'm so glad you came back and today's topic is all about creating a consistent image across your social media and across your websites, for example. So recently I posted about using colors and core values and creating your bio and content using those particular core values and your colors. So one of my colors, for example, is the color that I happen to be wearing at the moment and, a, and purples. So I have different shades of these teals and purples. And you'll see on any of my websites that those are like that, right? So one thing that uh, I didn't do because I did this very early on, I've had a lot of my social profiles for uh, 10, 12, 15 years, and I didn't do this, but if you can keep your name, like, you know, every one of them, like uh, twitter.com forward slash, uh, forward slash, and then a name, if you can keep that name consistent across all of your uh, profiles, it's very helpful. So uh, for a while I had Instagram with forward slash Dr. Anastasia Chopolis and my YouTube channel can be reached by forward slash C forward slash Dr. Anastasia Chopolis. But my other profiles, oh, and my Facebook page is also forward slash Dr. Anastasia Chopolis. Um, but now I have them differently. So what that means is the way people can reach you should be consistent. And once you have it, it's kind of hard to change, right? So my Twitter is, I started with Anna Chopolis and my uh, Pinterest is Dr. A Chopolis. And I believe my YouTube, no, my LinkedIn is also that, but it's all versions of my name. So there's at least that. And uh, if you have a brand, for example, like for me, for me, my name is very difficult to spell. So it would have been easier if I'd used my brand like Scientific Healer or Healers University because people can spell it, but I prefer to remain personal. So I've left them. So they're all versions of my name, whether it's Twitter, print, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Facebook, it doesn't matter. My brand, so my name is my brand, but my brand is either Scientific Healer or Scientific Healers University or just Healers University or Healers U. They're all kind of connected and the same. So that's my brand. And using these, this color and some purples, I've created banners and things that are consistent across all of them. I haven't changed them all out. Like I just noticed my LinkedIn is my old where I had stars and now I have like a, a bouquet, bouquet meaning B-O-K-E-H, 
something that's out of focus that's got sparkles in this this one of the shades of this color I'm wearing right so creating consistent banners across all of your social media is very helpful so one great thing that you can do is use canva right connect can to to Canva and Canva provides you with all the correct sizes for those banners. It makes it very easy to create consistent banners across all of them. So you can take the, you know, you can choose a background image and choose the print, you know, the font, choose what you say on each of them that all looks very similar and you can upload your logos, which I did. I uploaded my logos into it and I use my logos and, <clears throat> and the same kind of font on all of the banners. So that helps create a consistent, I keep tapping my microphone cause I can't help but use my hands. I propped it up so I don't get so many mouse noises on it. And so you can see the, the pop filter here. And so now you've got the, this consistent set of images and your branding all looks the same. You can use the, your core value words or the colors to convey the core value words across all of your website. So websites, meaning that your, uh, like if you have a podcast, the podcast banner should be similar to your LinkedIn banner, similar to your, um, <clears throat> similar to your website banners, uh, and your YouTube banner and your Pinterest banner. And even if you are an author on Amazon, you can also have a consistent look and put the same bio information and links in all of the bios that way people can uh you know if you're promoting something like right now it's for me it's www.highpaidhealers.com to help healers develop in a very short amount of time develop uh, a marketing strategy that will draw in your ideal clients as quickly as possible. And usually within a month to two months, you'll start getting more, uh, more healing clients, depending on how you do it. And this is one of the ways to do it is create that consistent image. So, uh, and then the other thing is the, the problem that a lot of healers face is that they're not very technically oriented. So you don't really need a website to start. You need a way to collect names and email addresses. And you can do that within uh, one of the social media platforms. So a disadvantage to using a social media platform is that it is not your property. It's theirs and they can shut you down. They did that to me on my Instagram account. They took it away. I had, you know, 6,000 followers there. Um, I was posting content regularly and they said I violated terms of service. Well, I did not violate terms of service. I used all, um, you know, images that were, that were free to use like from Pexels or, or morgue file. And I used my own quotes out of my book. I did not, when I create content, I don't copy somebody else. But of course, there's only so many ways you can say things. So for some reason, they said I violated it and I just let it go and I created a new Instagram profile and it is starting to build up again, right? So, uh, don't fuss. Some people sell off of their profiles. I do not. I try to connect with people before I sell to them or before I enroll them in a program. I don't really sell. I just invite you to be part of a program and you can say yes or no and no pressure involved, right? So uh, let me go back to you not needing a website. So one of my friends, um, 
created a program called Moon Powered Astrology. Her name's Claudia. And she did not have a website for the longest time. So what she did was she created a Facebook fan page and put and called it Moon Powered Astrology and then put this beautiful picture of a new moon uh, right in front of the setting sun. And it's really gorgeous. And then her learn more button is a, a way to connect to her to do a free session. And on that page, on her Facebook fan page, she has a whole description of her business, ways to contact her, and she's active on the page. And you can do similar things on LinkedIn, right? There's a way to describe your business. There's a way to invite people in. There's a way to put active links there. So you don't really need uh, your own website if you are not blogging you know, you can, you can do YouTube till the cows come home, which is a really great way to attract clients, but you don't really need a website to get started. You just need a place so people can go and see what you're about, right? Because people want to know who you are. They, they don't, they don't want to buy from these days. It's about, uh, it's not just about reputation, but it's also about who you are and what you represent and whether maybe they get on your nerves or not. Because if I can't listen to somebody, if I get, uh, if somebody is too slow, like uh, there are some people that speak too slowly, I get impatient, even though I love them. I know a lot of them personally, but I know that I can't learn from them because I'll sit and get impatient. I would rather read right? And then there are others that I just love to listen to. So um, even if I don't like them personally, I still love to listen to them. But uh, you can learn from just about any anybody. I had a teacher that was actually kind of brutal to the people around her, but I felt like the information was so important that I put protective barriers up so I wouldn't absorb her poopy energy and I asked a lot of questions and got those questions answered because she had a lot of knowledge that I really wanted to learn. So it doesn't matter who you learn from, you just need to be able to learn from the people that you can connect with, right? So that's what YouTube is for, is to show what your personality is like, what their energy is, what your energy is like, what you're about. Uh, make sure that you are consistent. Like I tend to wear uh, purples and greens and sometimes pinks, right? These are the colors that I wear. And uh, you can see that <laughs> I have pink behind me. That's part of my brand, soft pinks and things like that, because soft pink represents love. Um, green represents this Teal color represents protection and purple is spirituality, right? So you that is kind of like my personal brand. So these colors will run throughout all of my banners. They'll run throughout all of my uh, images, pictures, and things like that. So uh, that's, let's see, is that all I have to say for today? Yes. So next time I'm going to talk about colors and design of a website, right? Because in end effect, you would like to have a website and there's a, lots of ways to create them. There's easy ways and which are less flexible. There's flexible ways which are complicated. And then there's platforms which are really easy to use and you don't have to worry about uh, your site breaking nearly as much as if you use some of the other solutions. So next time I'll talk a little bit more about how you can easily create your website and exactly what should be on them. I've already had a little bit of discussion about that, but uh, in other words, wording and things like that, what should be on them? What are your most important pages? So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word 
by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three-step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com and I'll see you in the next video.